So uh, let me just uh, answer the question first so that we are covering what's important first, and then I will come back and do the Feynman diagrams. So it question four asks, which of the following reactions cannot take place by electromagnetic or strong nuclear force because it violates conservation of strangeness? Um, what if it violates something else? I, I guess I'm hoping that it won't violate anything else. Um, yeah, I, I'll do that check as we are going through. So pion plus proton into sigma baryon and K meson. So, um, and as a reminder, the sigma baryon, all the charges have strangeness of minus one. Uh, let me go down to sigma again. All the sigma baryons, because they all have one strange quark, they all have strangeness of minus one. Uh, K meson is a different one. Their charge kind of decides what strangeness it is. Yeah, K plus has an anti-strange quark, so it has strangeness of my, uh, strangeness of plus one. Um, oh, which means on the right hand side, it, they um, strange net strangeness is zero. This uh, reaction can produce a strange and anti-strange quark in the the particle antiparticle pair and. Um, and one could go into sigma, one into K meson. So, so yeah, conservation strangeness, we are fine. Let me just check. Charge, we are fine. Uh, spin, we are fine because it's a meson. Spin zeros plus spin one half. So I think this is a possible one. I'll be drawing by my diagram for that later. Okay, I need to go faster. Um, this says strangeness of minus one, zero. Z baryon, I don't know. <laughs> you have to look it up in a table. I think a Z baryon has a strangeness of minus two. Um, yeah, strangeness of minus two because it has two strange quarks in it. Okay, uh, so minus two. Okay, okay, so this will violate strangeness. I started out with one strange quark and did it with two strange quarks. And um, so if you are dealing with only strong nuclear force, you can only produce quarks of the same type in particle antiparticle pair, what's described here. It might still happen by weak interaction. So I'll try to draw a Feynman diagram for that later. Okay, pi plus, okay, so no strangeness. I want strangeness of, so this is strangeness minus one, strangeness of lambda, I think it also has strangeness of minus one. So, um, so total minus two, yeah. In fact, the Feynman diagram for this will probably look rather similar to this. You just have to change some of the particle identities, you know, up quark, up quark into down quark and, um, and, you know, mess up some of these other ones. <laughs> so, so this I actually won't uh, draw because uh, I think when, when and if I draw this, it's actually gonna look quite similar to this uh, with some, particle identifications changed. Uh, proton and neutron into proton, proton, pion. Oh, um, that doesn't involve anything strange at all. Um, let me just do a check of if it violates anything else. Two baryons plus two baryons, okay. Um, spin one half, one half, one half, one half and zero, that's fine. Charge of plus one. Plus one, plus one, man. This is probably happens. Um, so I'll draw a Feynman diagram for that later. Here, strangeness of minus one, zero. Uh, we went over this before, minus two. Um, plus one, so minus one so far. And no strangeness. So strangeness is conserved. Baryon number is conserved. Uh, spin is probably conserved, yeah, one half, one half. And these are spin zero particles, I think. Spin zero or one, either way, you can make this conservation of um, spin angular momentum work, I think. Um, did I check charge? Charge uh, net zero and here, net zero. So I think this is a process that happens. It can even happen by strong uh, force. You just uh, have to rearrange uh, where, what quarks go where. Okay, keep going. <laughs> proton plus neutron plus, yeah. So this looks uh, quite similar to this. The only difference is that um, here, 
they'll um, the if you look at the content of the quark here, net content of the quark, you know, quarks minus antiquarks, that uh, on the left hand side and right hand side would be the same. Here you don't have that because you have an additional strange quark. So this violates the strangeness. It'll have to involve a weak interaction. I'll draw Feynman diagram for that. Okay, uh, this will also violate strangeness conservation. Just checking, the, you know, k minus. I have the same k minus proton turning into sigma plus. So I got an extra strange quark from somewhere that has to involve weak interaction. Um, and here. Um, Okay, strangeness as a uh, zero, zero, plus one, minus one. Let me just check the other ones, baryon number, um, charge. And so I think this actually happens. So that should be it. Let's just see. Yeah, good. <laughs> and uh, I'll come back and draw Feynman diagrams for these, um, uh, a major idea of that.